Welcome to episode 12 of Tech Tips. My name is Joel Phillips. I am the CEO and founder of ProShark, as well as the director of technology at the Strategic Advisor Board, strategicadvisorboard.com. Today, we are going to discuss, we're going to continue our series on community, a much overused term, but one that is appropriate. Um, it takes into account the changes that are happening in the digital marketing world as well as gives us a viable uh, channel for creating demand for our products and services. Uh, I do want to back up a second. This is October, and we are very supportive of the breast cancer awareness cause, so please support that as well. Today, we're going to continue, like I said, on community. Uh, yesterday, we finished out with collaborative community and what that might mean. Uh, today, we're going to look at referral community and where we go with that community, as we said yesterday, and as we've been talking about for the last few episodes, community is a group of people with a cohesive cause, but it can't just be people around a cause because that doesn't result in anything. It's a community with a cohesive cause that results in an action. And when I say results in an action, you can create a group of people who are interested all day long in some subject matter, some social cause that you may have as a company. But if it doesn't result in purchases, sales, revenue, then the community doesn't have any value. And the value doesn't flow just one way. You're providing value to that community. They're providing value in by purchasing your products or your services. Yesterday, we talked a little bit about collaborative community, which is making sure that you make a win-win for other companies involved. Involve other companies because the bigger the base, the more demand that's going to be created and the more products and services that will be sold as a byproduct, not as the direct cause of um, creating this community. Uh, it has to be something that you create for the benefit of the members of that community, whether they be other companies or whether they be people associated with the community. And we're using community, probably way overusing the term community and, uh, you know, certainly open to suggestions on maybe better terminology, but it seems to be the most appropriate for our, our objectives. Today, though, I'd like to take a look at referral community. And when I say that, this group of people, this group of organizations, all has to have a commonality that results in the group coming together. But then there also has to be that benefit that we discussed. When you look at creating referrals across your community, most people think of affiliate marketing. They think of you know MLM, things like that. And that's not what it is at all. When you're creating referrals, you're creating value for other companies and you're taking, a, we'll call it a commission for creating that referral. That's a benefit. That's a benefit to you. That's a benefit to the other company that allows you to offer similar services or services or products that you may not provide that, is, that are desired by the people, the group of people that you've created. So if you have a community uh, of say HVAC. If you have a community of HVAC, you offer HVAC services, but you don't sell units or you don't sell the accessories or you don't sell the things associated with HVAC, then it behooves you to be able to complete the offer to this community to partner with other companies that can sell into your community and that you get referral for. So that's what we mean by referral community. And it's very important that you take a look at all of your income streams in today's market, because the market is going to get tougher. Uh, it'll be much more competitive. There's a lot more noise in the marketplace and you need to maximize the revenue stream that you have as you develop this community and but community will still be far more cost effective from an advertising perspective than doing paid ads than doing paid marketing than doing email campaigns all of those are great when put together 
but you have to still build this cohesive group of people. And this is why we find it so important, why we keep going over it, because going into the next decade, community, community or whatever terminology we come up with for that group of people that we're creating for around a common cause, whatever name we come up with, whatever terminology, that group of people is going to be the way that businesses sell for the next decade. And I don't want to overuse the term, but I can't stress enough the importance of it. So as you're looking at, at developing this community, make sure that you build out multiple income streams from this community, referral bases, et cetera, and make sure you emphasize those or you accentuate those as you're building out this community. Because if you offer all of the services around a product or service or cause, whatever the case may be, or whatever subject you apply to it, if you make that 100% offer where everybody can, or somebody can find everything associated with that object or that subject, then you have the ability to draw in more people and create and generate more sales. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. I uh, appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, please don't hesitate to email us. Tech tip, T-E-C-H-T-I-P at ProShark.com. Thank you very much. Bye. <music>